Right then boys and girls, just making preparation for the marble step to go in there. Um, I've got to take that coarse the bricks out above them blues um, because, because it's got to go level with these kitchen tiles here. So I'm going to take that course out, put the timber up the side, put a piece of board in front, fill it with cement, get it about level where the tiles are going to go. And then I'll be able to put that on using um, tile adhesive. But uh, I'm going to chop these bricks out before Misery Guts gets back next door. Took that course of bricks out. Um, what I'm going to do now is get some of this timber and fix it to the the wall going up there both sides as high as I can. The plasterboard will go where them wires are going across and then overlap a bit so I can pour beading down there when the plasterboard goes towards that section there. Um, and then I'm going to get a bit of timber going across from there to there <coughs> and fill that with um, cement so I can put me marble step on at some point. I look nice up there, well, wouldn't it? Okay, so yeah, let's get these timbers up here because I can't sort of step out until I do. And that's where we've got to so far. I've got a bit of DPC damp proof course to go there underneath this timber that I put down there to try and square it off. Um, I'll put that board in there because that's the height I want the cement to go. So I'll just show you that in a minute. That's what it's basically going to look like. Yeah, there it is. So I've just got to bring the sand and cement, tip it down there, tip it over them. Uh, so it's sort of level with that. I've left myself enough, that's about three, I forgot what it is now, about 30 centimetres or something, so I've had to leave that lower to compensate for that stone sill, so it comes level with that when I put the um, grout, uh, adhesive under it, so yeah, happy days, get some uh, cement in there I think. And then call it a day. Progress so far. I've had that cement down for about a week. So I'm about ready to uh, put floor tile adhesive on there and get the marble step in. And um, one on. What I'm also going to have to do is put one of the tile trims down there because the edges are not <coughs> that good where I cut them. So I'm going to put that tile trim on and uh, put the step up to that and have a step level with the top of the trim on this side. So yeah, about there I think. About there, so let's get it on. Steps in. Um, tile trim on there. Basically because I didn't get a sharp cut on them kitchen tiles. So, but yeah, it looks okay. Yep. Board. Plaster board with border, board adhesive has been put on up there and all the way down there. So that's looking all right. So that's looking all right. Still got some more filling around this edge to put on. 
Um, I've not put um, angle beads on it, basically because um, I won't be able to hide them, fill over the edge without going uh, over that trim. So I'm just filling it with board adhesive, to be honest, because I think that's a bit stronger than uh, easy fill or whatever. And then I'm gonna have some skirting board running on these bottom bits eventually. But like I said, I've got a bit more filling to do around the edges. But yeah, starting to look right. And what I'll do, I'll put some of this trim over there when I finish doing it and painted all painted all that, I'll put some of that trim. I've got to order some, but I'll put some there. Uh, and yeah, there you go. There it is on the timber there. So it's starting to look pretty good. There it is. By the time I put the board on here, it will just be a fraction of a lip sticking out, not a lot. It's about the same near as damn it. But yeah, it's starting to look well, isn't it? Complements the kitchen really nicely with that green marble step. Big thank you to uh, Big J for giving me that from No More House Bashing videos. Hey. It's actually got a purpose. Good bit of marble, Dad, isn't it? Look at that. I don't know what it was used for. I'll have to ask him when I see him. But I never see him because they never come and see me. Even though they're retired, they're just, um, hey, oh, Bamsy. <laughs> they, they never come and see me. I know, yes, mate, I know. <laughs> what is it, boy? What is it? Yeah, uh, they never come and see me. I used to go out there for coffees all the time, but they can't even be bothered to come down and say hello. Mad, isn't it? Hey. If you go and see people, take time out to go and see them, and then uh, they never come and see you, which basically means they don't give a shit about you, obviously. But yeah, not to worry. As you can see, kitchen is just about finished. Um, ceiling's been repainted. The walls have been painted in that green colour, which sort of complements the cupboards. So that's done. The step is also completely done. There you go. Steps in. Um, reveals have been plasterboarded out. I've got a bit of a line in that board. I've got to try and fill that out a bit more. I uh, suppose that's what you get from B&Q. But yeah, it's all done, been painted. To show you the step. <clears throat> there it is. Looks pretty good. Timbers up there. That's where the consumer unit's going to go eventually. Above that door, I think. I think that's where it's going to go. Uh, got that down there in that box. So, yeah, that's the step, guys. There you go. Well, I've done, I've just uh, put some silicon down the edge of the, the board where it meets the, uh, the step. There you go, nice line there. I was going to put some um, skirting board on, but I don't see the point, to be fair, just for them two bits. But I think it looks fine as it is. Yeah, I think it looks fine as it is. It's pretty good, do not it? So there's the kitchen. That's your overall view with a step. And um, what I've done, I've put some beading down there just to finish that off. Left a gap at the top 
because that's going to have some of this corny stuff on going across there so i'll just put that there painted that i need to order some more of that but there's a piece going to go across there uh what else have i done done the corny so on the top there i think you'll agree that looks uh pretty good followed it round uh, all I did round. Quite impressed with that. Uh, also, <clears throat> done the tiling behind the cooker. Put the chrome trim on. There you go. Finished the chrome trim on these tiles that have been here for about two years. Done all that. Um, yeah, painted it all. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I am just about there, just got some nitpicking to do. Bit of filling up on that reveal. Uh, any other little bits and bobs I'm, I can do. But apart from that, I think we're about, about there. So what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna concentrate on this section here. So I'm gonna get the battens all round. Uh, there's a work top got to go across there, so I'm going to sort the timber out. Goes across there, put the work top on when it's all battened out around there. Uh, so we'll just concentrate on this section here for a start. And then work my way around, get this bit done. Just work my way around. Uh, I want to get this section here done, especially that bit, so I can get a small fridge and freezer on the top of there, two separate ones. So I can uh, sell that, hopefully. And uh, get get the ceiling battened out for the plasterboard as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it, guys, for the time being, just about there. But yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Can't moan it out. Looking good. Till the next time. I'll have some of that. Yeah, bite up.